During this demonstration, we'll convert a spreadsheet into a web application using ESA. This will enable us to share the spreadsheet as a web app with multiple end users without exposing the embedded intellectual property. Here's our template spreadsheet. For this demonstration, we'll use a simple engineering calculator. But in practice, ESA can be used to deploy complex, multi-sheet spreadsheet models with VBA and macros used for almost any purpose, such as financial calculators, pricing tools, and scenario models. First, we'll log into ESA. Here I'm using ESA's default authentication system, but many of our customers integrate ESA with third-party authentication systems such as LDAP. Also note that the look and feel can be customized to your company's brand. We'll set the mode to Authoring, and using the new application wizard, we set the parameters of the application, such as its title and its category. Then we select our template spreadsheet. Next, we define the areas of the spreadsheet to be exposed in the web app. There's no need to hide cells and formulas in order to protect the spreadsheet, because users won't ever see it. They will only see the web app. A quick test shows us that the web application precisely mirrors the functionality of the spreadsheet, including any macros and add-ins. This is because the original template spreadsheet is still being used as a calculation engine on the ESA server. Users will not be able to click on output cells and see any of the formula or underlying logic within the spreadsheet. This allows your intellectual property to be completely secured, even if there are hundreds of users of your app inside or outside your company. We could go ahead and publish our app as it is, or we can make some improvements to make our app more intuitive for our user audience without changing the template spreadsheet. Refreshing the web page will show us what the application will look like to end users. Once we have finished authoring our web application, we can then go back to ESA and publish it to the users. We do this by selecting Publish. Later, if your template spreadsheet is updated, for example, with new formulae or new choice lists, then all you have to do is upload the new spreadsheet and republish. Here we see the history of our app, allowing for version control throughout your app's lifecycle. The users will see only the applications they are authorized to use. Now our new app has been published, users can open it, make changes, and save cases. They can even share their results with other users if desired. While this particular app uses only a spreadsheet as its logic engine, this is by no means a limitation. It is straightforward to enhance your applications in many ways, such as adding a database object to permit integration with other systems, such as PLM or CRM platforms. Thank you for watching.